Bonjour tout le monde. Aujourd'hui c'est jeudi le 11 novembre et on va commencer par le mot de passe. Le mot de passe est... Désolé. Ok. Aujourd'hui dans l'histoire, aujourd'hui c'est jeudi le 11 novembre, l'armistice de 1918. Um, une armistice. You might have heard today referred to as Armistice Day. I know that I have before too, but we, of course, more frequently hear it referred to as Veterans Day here in the U.S. Um, un armistice is something that's signed to maybe not end a war, but at least to get the ball rolling on ending a war. So, l'armistice, il est signé à 5h15. So, very precise. Even have the, the uh, time there. Pour marquer la fin de la Première Guerre Mondiale. La fin, the end. De la Première Guerre Mondiale. The First World War. Pendant la guerre, il y avait à 18,6 millions de morts. I've talked about this before. We often will see when it comes to numbers, commas and decimal points essentially swapped in French. So whereas we would say 18.6 million, they say literally 18,6 million de morts. Blessé ou mutilé. Mort, people who lost their lives, people who died. Blessé. Um, I know it looks like blessed in English, but think of it as almost the opposite of that because blessé means injured injured uh, or maybe you're blessed because you're just injured and not dead that could be too uh, think of it that way too ou mutilé mutilé um, looks like mutilated in English it may might have been what came to your mind first um, obviously we would not call a person mutilated in English that just does not sound very positive at all um, but it's somebody who uh, is um, rendered handicapped by a war um, I usually referring to somebody who loses a limb is considered mutilé in French and it does not have a negative connotation in French or a disrespectful at all. It's, it's fine to use that word. Okay, voici une vidéo. You are welcome to watch this. It is a little fast, a little tricky uh, for your kind of newness to French, but if you want to watch it just to try to understand a few words here and there, you can always slow it down to maybe understand a little better. So you're welcome to watch that. Et aux États-Unis, aux États-Unis, in the United States, on fête nos vétérans le 11 novembre. On fête, we celebrate nos vétérans le 11 novembre. We celebrate our veterans and we call it Veterans Day. Okay, so make sure you answer those two discussion questions. A. Aujourd'hui, il y a une nouvelle histoire. Um, it's not a story in the same way our other stories have been, where we kind of add in the details on our own. This is what we call a movie talk. Um, and so we're going to be watching first me um, walking you through a short film bit by bit. Then you can watch the short film itself. Um, and then we'll have a write and discuss and a quiz about it. Le vocabulaire important, I go over this in the video, so you'll hear it there, but I'll just go over it here really fast too. Effrayant, un nouvel appartement, une femme, un homme, un placard, un centre, un bruit. Some of these are going to sound familiar because they are um, les gestes, TPR, that we've been working on. Elle entend. Elle va vers. This one I need to put on your next um, your next TPR video because I have not done it yet. But elle va vers. This is our motion for it. She goes toward. Elle va. Elle va vers. Elle voit. Elle met. Une poupée. Sur et dans. Okay. So you're going to see that vocab come into play here and then everything is explained here. You're going to open the form. There are a couple different videos to watch. Um, and finally, the video with the quiz and a place to answer your quiz questions. So just follow these instructions and you should be good to go. 
Um, if you finish that and you want to listen to La Chanson de la Semaine again, this will take you to slide set where you can find that. Au revoir tout le monde!